Hey guys, I'm Meg and you're watching another episode of Feature Friday where every single Friday I feature either someone or something awesome. So for this week's Feature Friday I wanted to change it up a little bit and so we are going to be doing a book feature. A while back I posted up a picture on my Instagram of a book and I said that I absolutely, absolutely loved it and so that is the book that I'm going to feature today and of course by the title you will know that the book I'm featuring today is of course Fangirl. So this book was actually a spontaneous buy and it's just one of those times where I went into a bookshop and I was kind of browsing around and they had a buy one get one free and I'm a sucker for discounts and buy one get one free and I think I get that from my mum. So I decided to get two books, I can't remember what the other book was but Fangirl was one of them and I remember the first thing that attracted me to the book was of course the cover and the cover art. I love this kind of green, I don't know what colour it is, kind of green mint but not quite mint, more on the green side but I love the colour, I love the simplicity and of course I love the little illustrations on the front and also up here if you can see it says bonus content inside so that made me open up the book and saw this little illustration right here and that just sold me for the book. The second thing is of course that it is written by Rainbow Rowell and I love Rainbow Rowell's books. I love her style of writing, it's so relatable and it's so easy to read. You really get into the book, you get into the story and you feel for the characters, you feel like the characters are your best friends or if they're not you feel like you know them so well and that's really what I love about her writing so I was super excited to get into this book and by the end of it I actually didn't want to read this book because I didn't want it to end it's one of those books where you just want to live on with the characters and I just love this book so much so what I've done for you guys is instead of me just talking about what the book is basically about I have put together a little very very simple animation for you guys with a voiceover and everything that is in the animation I did myself so I really hope you guys enjoy this overview of what the story of Fangirl is about. So the story centres around Catherine Wren Avery, offspring to Arthur Avery and identical twin sisters. Growing up they were inseparable but now as they embark upon their next journey of life to college Ren wants to break free from her friendship and go solo, whilst Kat finds herself truly alone for the first time in her life, sharing dorms with a rambunctious roommate called Regan and happy-go-lucky Levi. We follow Kath throughout her first year of college, not only trying to deal with her identity, but also trying to balance college, life, her fan fiction, and possibly even love. That's basically what Fangirl is about. It definitely goes more in depth into certain aspects. And I didn't really mention that fan fiction plays a huge part in this, but it kind of does. And there's a cool kind of reference to the Harry Potter series and all those fun bits like that. And I'm getting so excited about this book that I completely forgot to tell you guys who did the cover art. Now the cover art is done by an awesome artist called Noelle Stevenson. She has such a cool and unique unique style and as soon as you see a picture in her style you're like that's Noelle Stevenson which I think is awesome I think it's awesome for an artist to have that unique style and that recognizable style so she did all the illustrations for this book including the front and of course inside and what I'm gonna do is if you want to see more of Noelle's artwork and just her work in general I'm gonna leave a link to her Twitter and I think it's her tumblr page where she posts lots of her stuff in the description box down below I definitely suggest you guys go check it out. So overall I would say that this is a fantastic read. If you're in the mood for a book which is pretty chilled and relatively an easy read and I don't mean that by kind of the language is easy I just mean that on the page the words just flow and it's so easy to go through not once did I have a moment where I had to read the same page over and over and over again for it to digest everything was just seamless so if you guys are in the mood for that kind of book and kind of a collegey type book as well and just a coming of age and just a learning experience book I definitely suggest 
fangirl. It is wonderful. I'm definitely going to reread this in a couple of months. So I haven't done this in absolutely ages and I only did it once before but I am going to do a Meg head review and basically what that is, it's just a scoring system so if something's terrible it will be 0 out of 5 Meg heads, if something's absolutely amazing it will be 5 out of 5 Meg heads and I am definitely going to give Fangirl 5 out of 5 Meg heads. It is awesome, definitely go out and get it. Oh, it's just so good. So if any of you guys have read Fangirl, I would love to know what you thought in the comments down below. I'm going to leave links to everywhere that you can find Rainbow Rowell in the description box as well. She has a Twitter, a website, and I'm going to find a few other links for you. As well as that, I'm going to link directly to an Amazon page where you can go get this book because you guys should definitely go get it right now. And that sums up this week's episode of Feature Friday. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and the feature I hope that you liked the small little animation I've never done anything like that before but I definitely want to incorporate those more into my videos if you liked the video I'd love it if you gave it a big thumbs up to keep up to date with all makes creations videos be sure to click the subscribe button down below or over there and if you want to keep up to date with everything makes creations I'm also on Facebook Twitter and Instagram all links will be in the description box down below if you have anything awesome that you would like me to feature in these feature Fridays they can be awesome people awesome things I would love you guys to share it leave those in the comments down below or you can tweet them to me or you can put a post on my Facebook and as always guys stay positive stay creative have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you on Monday for another mega Monday